Hey you guys. So the purpose of this video is to help you guys out with um, capstone pro capstone or cornerstone capstone capstone exercises and one of the ones that we have is 15.7 that is configure Linux. I saw you guys were having a, a, quite a few issues today with some of the labs that Mr. Rob gave you guys. So I thought I'd help you out with this one since I'm not going to be here Friday as my school is taking us on a little trip to the zoo. Detroit Zoo. It's going to be some fun. So the, the tasks we have are to lock Robert's account, copy some directories, move a directory, move a file, and change both user and group ownership. So, to get started, we need to switch to the root um, user. We do that by typing in su. You, you would also use su plus um, the name of your uh, other user. So, for example, if we, if like, um, who's someone? Jan. If there was like Jan, you would switch in by doing su Jan. Sometimes it's su Jan like that, or if point and then if it was me it would be like see but we're only doing root sometimes when you're switching to root in some um, distributions you do su and then the tilde so we can we can find the root password over here the root password is one worm four b point boom so, in order to lock Robert's account, we need to use the password command dash L, which locks the account. And we now have to select the account we want to lock. And I don't like how they don't tell you which account is Robert's, but using like some putting two and two together, you can figure out that RC Ron is Robert's account. So, with that in mind, RC Ron. Password for the user is RC Ron. Success. <coughs> Sorry about my voice, trying to keep it down. So, now we need to copy the welcome and team directory files from home RC Ron project PRCC. So, we do bash home. Dash RC Ron dash project underscore PRCC and then we would add the direct the files that we want to copy right after that. So dash welcome and we are copying them to slash home slash sequin. Do that yet again. Well, no, not with C1. My bad. Okay. Task. That's team directory. My bad. Team directory. Boom. So now that we have those two things copied, something doesn't look right. Did get scored for that, right? Yeah, we did just making sure. Okay, my bad. So now we're gonna move the project PRC and C directory to M Brown, which is Maggie Brown. So we use the oh, let me plug it back in. We use the MB command slash home slash RC run slash project slash underscore PRCC and we're copying that to slash home slash and brown there you go sorry for going so slow I'm just trying to make it where people can understand what's going on I'm trying to explain it to you guys so I go so now
need to remove the personal appointments file from Robert's account. You could do this by just from like listing our directories. Oh, we're not even in the right area. So we're not going to do it like that, but we're going to rm. And the way that I do it normally is dash rf. This is not how they <coughs> instruct you guys to do this. I'm most, I th think I'm correct. It's just the way I do it as it's a lot quicker and a lot simpler for me. So we go to slash home slash rc run slash um yeah personal appointments. Boom. So if we were to change our directory to It would just be here. I was about to go to and how to directory. Okay, so as you guys can see, it is now gone. So now we need to change the user owner for the files in Corey's account to C Flynn. Corey is Corey is C Flynn. If you well, if you guys don't know. So now, so as you guys see earlier, we changed. We we copied. Um, a lot of the project PRCC files to, well, yeah, files to cflynn's directory. So now we're going to kill, we're going to do this a bit differently from how they would normally want you to do it, but the way that I like to do it, because this way we'll kill two birds with one stone. So oh, get me out of there. There we go. So I'm just going to show you guys something real quick. So if we were to look through the manual and of Chone. So Chone, synopsis, this is the syntax of how you would write it. You don't really need this option thing. You can use this to describe specific permissions or certain options. You normally use the this area for like the ch the, ch the chmod um, command or ch mod if you want to call it by that or cho. So as you can see here in the first, um, right before the colon, you have your owner, and then after it, you have your group, and then you put down your file. So let's do that. We'll type in Chung. Okay, yeah, <laughs> one sec, lost, lost train of thought, thought there for a second. So, see, colon, colon, and then the group they want us to use is Praj, or project but they want shortened. So now we type in the directory in which we are, well, the files in which we are changing the permissions for. So, um, slash c, colon, slash. So from what we remember from earlier, let me full screen back into this. We have our welcome and our team directory folder files we would do that for welcome. And we would do that for team directory. And now, if we did everything correctly, we should get a 100%. Look at that. 9 out of 9, 100%. Score lap. Bada boom, bada bang. So, Hope this guy hope this guide works for you got for you all. Sorry for taking my time with this. I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood what was going on and such. Hope you guys have a good day Friday. I won't be here due to a zoo trip that's going on at my school. See you all next week.